Alright, it was these ten frogs. They was walking through the forest. And two of the frogs got in front of the other eight frogs. And they was in their own conversation. So as they was walking, they got so caught up in their conversation that they wasn't paying attention to what they was doing. Eventually, they fell into this hole. And the hole was a deep pit. So when the other eight frogs realized that they was missing, they started looking for them. They found them in the hole. They looked down in the pit and it seemed hopeless. So immediately they began to tell them to give up, not to jump, not to even try to get out because it was impossible. So they kept on trying to jump out of the pit. And eventually one of the frogs gave in to what was being said and just surrendered. And died. Well the other frog continued to make attempts to jump from the pit. And get out of that hole. To remove itself from that situation. So they just kept on saying. You'll never get out. You'll never get out. You'll never make it. Give up like Charlie did. Give up like Charlie did. And he kept on trying to jump. And he was tying himself out. But that last time he sprung down. And he jumped up. With all his might. Believing that he could get out of the pit. And he made it out of the pit. And when he got out of the pit, everybody just stood around him in amazement. And they kept on looking at him saying, why did you keep on jumping? We told you to give up, that you would never make it. And he looked at him and he said, I thought you was cheering me on. I'm deaf. The moral is, there's life and death in the power of the tongue. But words are very important. Words can destroy you. Words can build you up. Wrong words can destroy your life. The right words can increase the life inside of you. My message to you this morning is never stop jumping. Just an inspiration.